All right, we're going live right now. Sorry for the delay. I need to, I was just wrapping up my work. So anyways, we'll be spectating Auto Run versus um, Jane Nelson today. Hopefully we're not too late on this. Oh, and I may as well like um get the, get my live chat he, uh, situation fixed. One sec. Need to need to get the link. There we go. Mm, okay, there we go. Okay, should be should be working now. going live okay so it looks like um looks like Leo Smart is also doing some streams at the same time well, I'm doing my own as well Okay, 35 seconds until it starts. Okay, let me do a look, let me do a bit of a poll here and uh, let's see. Poll, how do I do this? Okay, there it goes. Uh, start a poll. There it goes. Okay, the match has already started. Start the poll, there we go. Okay, so far the the match is oh surprisingly there are actually some there are actually some new units in here like Patricia is gonna be used here which is uh it's gonna be interesting to see both of them utilize uh this new hero that just uh, that just got released like not too long ago it's just like a few days away a few days ago I'm I'm super intrigued of how they work in this kind of settings. Like I although as far as I've heard, uh Patricia is is gonna be like similar to how Sagani works. But hers is more like a watered down version. It's it's not really that strong, but it's just that this could be this could make some interesting plays. Like the gimmick part with, with that the ability to like attack from long ranges from her three C. The first part of three C of course. Like the first part where uh, it, 
it applies a special buff to your allies, and then you can make you can move them to forward, and then let Patricia just snipe from from the back. Yeah, think of them. Think, think of your allies that got applied by her with a special buff, as like an owl effect, something like that, for her at least. But I don't know. Are we gonna see her in action here? Let's take a look at what Pig and Ben's they're gonna go for here and see if they want to use Patricia. Because I do see some potential on this on this hero, but but we're not sure how is how she's gonna work out in Apex. Because as far as I've heard, uh, she is not at the same level as Sagani. But we'll see. Things could change. Uh, Later on, when it when she ha when she gets her exclusive, which is not confirmed, by the way. Okay, so Lemia and Apotheos is banned. Okay, Andy is deployed. Ooh, Polly. All runs going for Polly. Oh dear. Ooh, Patricia is banned on all runs, and Jay Nelson gets to give himself give himself Patricia. So now let's see who is all run banning here. It's impossible to ban all tanks, as in there's like three unbanned tanks here. I guess one of them will be banned, or maybe two. Depending on what he prefers. I was thinking he would just ban a tank and Jace in that case. That was unintentionally a rhyme here. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, I'll run make make his choice quickly. As if he kept waiting long, he will probably lose lose a lot of time. Okay. Oh, he went for the two tanks, uh, Lightbringer and Hilda. Okay, Andy is going to get deployed here. And I forgot to get rid of this one here, so there you go. Okay, so far this is some interesting votes here. So at least two of you are voting that all runs gonna win here. Well one person voted for Jane Nelson. Interesting. They both are great players, but we'll see how would a match uh, play out here? Okay, looks like we got our poll. We got our deploys fi finalized. So Jay Nelson has um, AO, Z2, Andy, Patricia, and Landius deployed. While our run has Ishin, Adengelmo, Poli, Andy, and Bernhardt. ASB Bernhardt, to be specific. And I had no idea why does the poll has to show up on the bottom. Wouldn't it be better if that was on the top? I don't know. I, I don't have control on that thing. Honestly, I don't know the way how you to display the chat like that in the uh, in the OBS is weird. Like really weird.
yep, we're just gonna keep waiting here until the, the game puts us in game one. And we'll spectate from there and see w how did it go. Okay, game one is starting right about now. Okay, looking at their units, let's see. Yeah, all all of these units are pretty well stacked, and especially this Patricia, which was added not too long ago, and she's rocking with a new new mage soldier, the Molten Sorcerer. <laughs> Yes, a couple couple old classic mages have that have that new soldier as well. So that those new soldiers those new soldiers are not locked to uh, Patricia. By the way, And right away, I'll run deploy the uh, the portal to to have the center the control on the center field. Landius activating that CC, protecting everybody. Okay, Andy just backed out of the portal. Do not, it, anyways, Andy did not want to go in there just yet because. It, now is not the right time to rush. Interestingly, uh, why is this aging with uh, unicorns? I don't know. I, it w wouldn't it be better if she has the, the Star Prisma Pegasus. The, the that that's a common soldier I've been I've been seeing a lot with aging. It's kind of unusual seeing Ishin with those uh, unicorns. There she goes with the with that special uh, buff, which will enable all her allies to be able to be her attack range of two blocks. Let's see what kind of skill does she have. So she has all three of her unique skills. Okay. Thought I saw someone move just now. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end, end this hole here so that way the screen does not take too much room here. Okay, Yixing is already making the move. Putting that on uh, a Dengelmo. 
Oh man, this is gonna get really nasty. Mm, not sure if that's what I'll run planned. Moves forward and then teleport backwards. Unless you want, unless you want that portal to be uh, regenerated quickly. But other than that, I don't think that's a good use of the portal. Okay, Landy is fucking less, which is only himself. And he stayed and got Breeze. Oh yeah, and also take notes of Patricia's uh, mo movement type. Even though the skin looks like she's floating, she's actually not flying. It's kind of weird. What do you think? Because you know, Golden Seal, she her character sprite floats, right? She she does have flying type movement, but for Patricia, she does not fly, which is a bit strange. But I mean, right now she she has a molten sorcerer, which which are ground units, but. In her in her in her class settings, she was actually like a a ground unit, not necessarily flying. Which is a bit bit of a strange pick. I guess uh, Zilong didn't didn't want the time to like change up how the sprite looks to make to make her balance. I know I don't know. This could actually throw some people off guard. is moving moving ahead waiting for the right opportunity to attack and when she's on the enemy side that's where hell breaks loose because she is buffed by Patricia and Patricia can attack the enemy as well so this team has a great synergy like with Patricia like Z2 could just be in on the enemy side while Patricia stays at the back and snipe people. Uh, basically, she's like Sagani, uh, but not not at the same level as like, you know, the the owl that he deploys. No, this is straight from from another ally, which can be attacked. So so yeah. You can already tell that this is probably not the best when it comes to like alternatives for Sagani. Although it's nice that Patricia is in the game now, that does pretty much the same thing, but is not the not the same uh, same way of how you should play with her. Like the only the, the only difference between Sagani and Patricia is that a uh, Sagani's owl cannot be attacked in any way. Because it is treated as a special terrain or something. But I don't think it overwrites at all, but it is just there he's not attacking. But Patricia is on the other hand, the allies that, that had the buff can still be attacked. So now so now Jay Nelson is trying to move his units uh, up ahead as much as possible. While All Run is trying to stay back, as uh, he probably knew how dangerous Patricia would be if, if not handled correctly. Okay, and is to rush ahead, hitting AO as as a result, and then hitting all three units, stunning two units. Simultaneously, that that is Ao and uh, and Landius. Oh, that's not good.
Hmm. What was that encoding overload overloaded? That is just weird. I didn't even move an inch. Now Jane Nelson is still thinking what to do now. As Polly is now in like on their team side and uh, on his own team on his team side and yep he's thinking whether if if he should kill Polly here or just ignore her for the time being but most likely well although um the although Allrun did not have Z two so he does, he's not in a rush for what killing off uh, Polly here. But Patricia used used her three C AOE on Polly, which it does a decent amount of damage. Let me turn on the animation so that we to make this match uh, much more interesting. I usually I usually turn off when I'm not framing. So yeah the reason why i turn off is because you know animations usually take a lot of time to to play oh god uh z2 is in trouble not looking good yeah with, with that land just stun like that that is that's not looking pretty Now, anyways, Alron will have to decide whether if he should rush in again towards th those three, or we'll just hold off for now. Because if he kill anyone here, like uh, Z2 or AO, Angel will. Uh, actually, no. If if they kill AO specifically, Andy is gonna act again and become become enraged, or known as hostility. But he could safely kill Z2 and did not have to deal with that uh to deal with that act again. Okay, Andy just uh, move forward, do not attack. Okay, and Aishin is just not gonna, is just uh, gonna, going to attack whoever. Let's see, who is she going to attack here?
Nope, it's just gonna put dash on Bernhardt. And then, uh... Wait. Oh, wait a minute, what's going- Oh, Soul Scrap- Oh, she didn't take it? Oh, okay, that is- That is, uh, wicked. Absolutely, I thought she would take it, but I guess she couldn't take it while stunned. Okay, and now, and anyways, with Ao dead, now um, the, the, now Alrun had to deal with uh, the wrath of of Andy. Oh, that is gonna look pretty nasty here. Okay, Andy is gonna move again here, or I should say act again because you can attack afterwards. Okay, going after Polly. Getting getting Holly's uh, first life and gets to move again because it didn't kill. Oh, going out to Andy. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, just not enough. Just not enough for a kill. Oh, that's unfortunate. And I believe this, this I think I was going to attack Andy here, or AoE everybody here. Oh, that is so unfortunate. And Z2 is dead. Yeah, with, with that burning soul on on the units that attacked, they are going they are going to suffer a lot of damage from all of that. Taking him, taking him to the back. Oh, going after uh, Patricia. <laughs> Put with the 3C, let's see. It should, should be able to kill. Yeah, who got? Oh, it almost traded. Wait, maybe maybe he dies here. Let's see what happens. Nope, he, he survives. Yeah, with Patricia gone, this is this is gonna be a this is gonna be impo This will be. This will be very really hard to win for Jane Nelson. Wait a minute. Why is Landia still stunned here? That is, that is strange. Unless. Uh, <laughs> Right. Wait, you were betting Jane Nelson? Hmm. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it, it was a close one, indeed. Like, but it's so, somehow Jane Nelson threw, threw the, at least the first one. But we'll see how, how this. Oh, wow, one, one unit died. From the from that black hole, and now Ao is back, back to her original form. And I think Andy is gonna die here. And he's gonna die. And that tank is 
unstunned, but that is not enough. It, 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 it ain't also is gone. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Some, something, something happened, but it doesn't matter. Jane Nelson forfeit this, this game. Hmm. It's kind of rare seeing, seeing AO killing off a Bernhardt in the melee combat. It's kind of unusual. Okay, and Jane Nelson placed himself second play. While Alvaron go first. Switching the turn order around a bit. And the map that we'll be battling on will be Molten Core. Anyways, the score is 1 to 0 right now. Uh, our run got one point, and Nelson didn't have a single point yet. Oh, anti melee soldiers. Uh, okay, that's. Wait, I didn't. I didn't check what soldiers she has. Was it the? Hold on. Let me look at my replay real quick. I am not too sure. Uh, I'm trying to replay. Oh, it was the glaci glacios. I didn't. Oh yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, glacio mentos have the. Had the thing that neutralizes melee, melee damage penalty. No wonder I I did, I kind of forgot about that. Hmm. Let's see. Uh... I'm trying to see which which one where is AO on my page. Okay, here it is. Awaken one. Uh, glacials. Yeah, it says it right here. It says um, when when water terrain uh, and the soldiers. Anyways, it's basically like the soldiers have the new immunity against melee damage and melee damage penalty so yeah they're not going to be taking they're not they're not going to be doing less damage instead they'll deal full damage and i didn't see what changed here so i think yeah lena is gone for uh leon and then jay nelson got rid of lena as well uh for for agnes Okay, Ishin deployed for our run. Isolda and um, and a Dengama band, and then there's a uh, there's Ao, once again. Oh, that gone too fast. I didn't catch that. I think it was uh I think it was Ishing and uh and Agnes. And then I'll run win for Jace.
Oh, uh, Patricia banned again. So we won't be seeing her for our run. Well, Jay Nelson have something else up on his sleeve, and that would that is his soda. But don't think it will matter here, as um, our run is more like a rush player rather than a turtle kind of kind of plays. But we'll see how our run gonna handle this now, as his soda is is a menace out there. And she still is a menace to this day. Okay, Andy and Landia's band, Lightbringer deployed. Rosenseal and Andy band, good good bands there. Healing can be crazy sometimes, so Rosenseal band is a valid, valid choice. And Hilda to get Hilda deployed here. All run would have to hurry up now, as he is about to run out of time. Okay, we won't be seeing Patricia from both players, so this will just be your know, typical Apex. Uh, Game. Let me deployed. Okay, uh, Apotheosis and uh, the two band. Now, who's Jane Nelson going to? Place here. Uh, I could, I can imagine. Oh, apotheosis. Okay, interesting. I was about to say Z two, but apotheosis is not a good choice. Okay, Z two and Lemia band. Went for Leon. Oh, haven't seen him for quite some time. But nevertheless, even though he's hardly seen, but he's still pretty good. Because he has some crazy skills like AoE, which uh, causes a lot of turning on fire, or even his signature three C, which would shuffle everybody around. I believe maybe maybe you might have already heard about Leon's uh, casting, which will be out in the global uh, at some point in the future, like on the update with uh, Ymir and Celica. His casting is crazy. Like it's basically a faction buff for Calvaries, where um, everyone gets the effect of the Shivery effect when he activates it, which makes him extremely strong as an option for Calvary. So I could see a lot of potential with uh, Leon's uh, casting. So I could I could imagine a lot of people would try to put in as many cavalry allies as possible, like Andy, who, who's already good. Maybe we might see Elwin back again, but don't don't know because Elwin used to be good back in the day. But when Leon comes in, he kind of lost his shine, which is really unfortunate. So now the poll has. But now, so now the, the the play hero has been finalized. We'll be waiting for them to get in the game. For game two. Okay, and we don't have to wait for that long. Round two is starting right about now. Oh my goodness, why am I feeling tired all of a sudden?
Let me check here. Okay, that's interesting. So, so yeah, th th this Lemia is an AOE oriented Lemia. I don't see that uh, Cora Volley skill at all. That's the one where she can do single target while also uh, guard ignore when they're in water. And Jace here is uh, it's the three. This is a three unique skill. Uh, Jace. Okay. He's gonna be doing a lot of work with his portal that will probably reduce magic defense. Let me see. Does it do that? Yeah, it does that. So, yeah, Jace is gonna be going crazy with his kit. Leon carries a AOE. Lightbringer carries uh, just a just a, a common set of skills. Like the guard, which is which is also an an infection buff for for Holly. And some other assist skills for for other out for other heroes. Yishin carries the the common commonly uh, three set three skills. Stay back for a bit and activate the sub substance. Putting fashion buff on for all mystical realm units. Okay, breeze and that in those wings effect. I don't know if they stack, but it might. It, maybe it does. But let's see. Yeah, I think it does. But the but the thing is, like that's part of the wings uh, effect. So if you already got mobility up already, you get you get additional mobility buff, which is a uh, which is nice to have. Oh yeah, I'm going to pull this up so that we will it, we will remind ourselves that this kind of soldier does ignore melee damage penalty. <laughs> okay, Hilda just went for that crazy laugh and then deploy those uh, sinkholes, which will prevent uh, which will prevent Leon specific specific to not be able to move again while in these tiles. And does not receive act again either. I didn't know he, uh, Jace could even place uh, place an arcing trace where he's standing right now, even though he hasn't moved. Hmm, that is interesting indeed. Okay, so yeah, and also Jace's description is now correct because previously it didn't it didn't read as it should be. Because, you know, last time it said like if, if you fail to kill a, a, an enemy, you will get stunned, which is not true. I think we, the, the team uh, changed it up, so now it just, now it makes more sense. So instead of that, you. You're basically gonna stun the enemy if they survive the attack.
Hmm? Oops, I did not mean to do that. We all move, move, placing chains on the two dangerous units. Not sure if putting a chain on Jace is a good idea though. Because I would have put it on Ishin to slow her down. I don't know. Apotheosis moved forward while still under the protection of the uh, of Hilda. Oh, Arkin traced over there. All right. Putting vortex at where where they are. Oh dear, that's that's nasty. And then tell her back. Jeez. Yeah, these guys, I can imagine they're gonna have a rough time t getting out of there. If they're not flying, that is. Okay, Hilda got out of the vortex, which is uh, nice. And so she has higher mobility, which makes sense. Who's up and putting strengthen on Lemia? Patios has moved back. Hmm. Arrows. Oh, Jesus, that's a that's really brutal. Putting more water tiles, splashes everywhere. Yeah. 
Yeah, this AO surely did not enjoy what's going on here. So yeah, anyways, AO cannot land on these tiles because if she do that, she's going to die. AO just moved down, got out of the vortex. J stayed put. Okay, Bernhardt is now uh, separate from from the group. This portal is gonna stay here for one more turn. Uh, stand while moving forward a bit, ready to attack. Okay. Using that skill to heal. And not just that, it also reduced their, their damage taken by a good chunk of it. Uh, it's that Damage taken minus fifteen percent. That's actually pretty, pretty good here. Now let's decree on herself. And then she lose all that radiance because of stack. Dimensional shift, which she cannot be displaced because Hilda's unique ability is not get displaced. This is a meteor and it hits only Lemia. Let's see what it Yeah, we should kill. Yeah, only one target on that one. Lemia bits the dust. Going to apply chains again. Putting it on the high DPS units. Well, let I me mean, not high DPS, high mobility units. Yep, with those with those two chain like this, it'll be difficult to reach. Unless uh, unless they use act against skill, which is probably not worth it, and on this range because the lava also slows them down. Maybe, maybe it could still reach, but let's see. It could still reach, I think. Yeah, it can still reach with AoE. AoE bits of dust there. Yikes. But uh, not to worry, AO is gonna come back. Relatively soon. Oda's <laughs> gonna activate the next spear, becoming Lancer.
Fakios is going in, activating his uh, alternate form. Jace uh, moved, placing Arcane Traced on himself from where he's standing. Okay, and then uh, the soldier actually the solitary uh, solitary will. Yeah, oh, solitary journey. I mean, so now her attacks will ignore guard. She's gonna be a beast, uh, relatively very soon. Putting the key on herself, putting, getting radiance back. Hard to stay put. Ao returns, but as the as a puppet. Oh, Harkin trace directly into them. Let's see what happens here. Going after Ao Ooh, instantly, killing her successfully, and then teleport back. Wow, that's gotta be annoying to deal with. Oh man, this is gonna get chaotic now. Jace got act again from Isshin. And uh, Jace, the Jay Nelson will have to act quickly now as uh, he's well down. I don't want to starve myself. さっさと消えろ。不敬だ。さっさと消えろ。不敬だ。愚かな。<音声><音声><音声> 
フリークのためにさっさと消えろ不敬だ正しい道を守り続けて My goodness, Jace is trying his best to kill Bernhard, which uh, he fails. Oh, it's going after Ish. Three C time. But here comes the tail whip. Oh, he should be bit the dust. Alrun had no choice but to concede there. Okay, so Jay Nelson kind of brought this chance back. Let let's see how will Game Three fare. This time, uh, Jay Nelson goes first, while Alrun goes second. The map that we play on is the Shipwreck Strait, and that's um does not that is not as crazy as the last map they played. Yeah, Isolda is insanely good. Like, like she can guard ignore. She does have act again when all three wills is are activated. And also, she has that one attack when you activate that solitary uh, journey. Uh, that that attack is treated as a magic damage. And that can attack from a distance and has a shorter cooldown. Than the than the three, than the other two skills you can choose from. And also, and also, her three C is where she can activate a random will that has yet to be activated. Oh, of course, af after attacking, okay, she is insanely good. But if you haven't got her before, you will get another chance by. Uh, I'll probably say like get it from the hero bag, but not sure if you're free to play. 
if you are, that's totally fine. You don't have to spend it, but they, we're gonna we'll be getting a hero bag relatively soon. Probably like roughly like two more months. Anyways, Jane Nelson got AO secured while Rosen is banned. I'll run got the AO banned for his box. <clears throat> okay, Andy and Lem no not that was not Andy. That was uh Ishing and Lemia. And I'll run to play the play Ishing of uh, of his own. Okay, I think Yelmo and Soda banned. Is Soda deployed? And I kinda I kinda forgot who did they change here. Uh okay, Jay Nelson did not change anyone. But for all run, Leon is gone, and so is Rosen Seal. I think there is Leon and, and Lena is back in the box. Okay, interesting. Okay, now we're waiting for uh, Jane Nelson to choose who to ban here. Patricia and Jace gone, alright. Uh, mages are gone. Well, both of them are, are gone. There's still Lena. And maybe Lightbringer too because she is treated as a magical tank. What I mean magical is that she does uh she she used in as her main damage. Okay, Agnes and Jace gone. Lemia deployed. Okay, Z2 banned, and also, I think that was Andy? Yeah, I think it was. And Patricia deployed. Okay, Liana. Lena and Apotheos is banned. So now, okay, Hilda uh, chosen to be the tank, and then Bernhardt. Okay, pretty much the All Runs team is not going to be able to protect. Uh, his own team against Magic, which which is Patricia, by the way. And maybe a Soda as well, because one of her attack is considered Magic.
Okay, game three. This will decide who is going to move on to the finals. <clears throat> Let's see. Yep, this is indeed the last game. This, whoever wins this will be claim will be claiming the final spot. On uh, whoever is whoever they are going to be fighting against, which I believe the other the other two have already finalized their match, which I don't know who won, but. Yeah, the payout is already received, so I don't know who won that one. I could look, look on the other, the other account I have to see who won, but I prefer not to. Because I, I want to keep this as a surprise. Don't want to get spoiled. At least not so. That's 3C. The first part of 3C is where applying effects to all allies or all allies within three blocks of, from herself. And now all, all, all her allies are now considered as a owl, similar to how Sagani works. Okay, Lemia, stay still, do not move. And then got Breeze as well. Wow, okay, that was, that was some good RNG luck there. Again, on oh dear. I'm not too sure if anyone could hear the background sound, like, you know, some rumbling going on. Yeah, it was the, it was a, it was a laundry. Sorry about that. Okay, Jay Nelson has yet to move at this time, so hopefully he will make a move soon. Okay, AO moved. Who's he gonna change? He's gonna change Lenya and uh, Holly.
Oh hey Cecil, welcome welcome to the stream. We're basically on the in the last uh, game, game three already, and both players got one to one score. Yeah, I've seen anyways in the main core I noticed that someone said Jay Nelson deserves to be champion at least once. Not sure if he had won so far, but I don't know. This could be his first time. But we'll we'll see how, how he will play here. Because if Jay Nelson could could be all run here, the, a lot of things would change later on. Like there's a potential that he could probably make it make it through here. Um, <clears throat> the the thing is, who, who who I think is gonna win? It's kind of hard to tell at this point because um, All Run got the first win, and then Jane then got it back on the second game. So yeah, I think I'll probably say like um. Yeah, it's hard to decide. They're both pretty good. Although I did put my ticket on All Run, which uh, I don't know. If All Run loses, then it's fine. It's just that I won't be getting gold because I just bet on a losing player, which is not great. But I mean, it's it's fine. It's just that um, I I really wanted someone else to win besides All Run, but. Anyways, we'll see how Jane Nelson plays out here. Anything can happen. And okay, so Cecil confirmed that Jane has never been champion. I, I mean that that makes sense because I believe he did play start playing Apex a couple seasons back. I think I don't know when he started to be like the top two five six. Maybe a couple seasons back. I don't remember. Yeah, I on, I only bet with just one ticket. Uh, I think I put the bet on Zen, uh, Zgrim, uh, on the other team. I mean, not on the other team, the other uh, matchup. So I'm not sure. Although I do heard that that match has already ended, but I didn't I didn't see who won. My my area is pouring down rain right now. I I hope I don't get disconnected. Anything like that could happen, and that could be disastrous. Uh, something's going on with the bantering on this match. I do not want to open that because you know it is really suspicious.
I usually keep it off because I don't see anything useful about that at all. Yeah, anyways, thank you, Cecil. I'm hoping I c we can make it make it out of this w without any issues here. Because the having ra raining in in my area is a bit unpleasant. Okay, so so you said Wayne ran one that other map. Okay, so that means I lost that bet, which is uh sad, unfortunate, because I put my ticket on on Zgram. Well, only one ticket, which is no big deal. Okay, is moving in. Let's see, who is he going to attack? Uh, let's see. Or do AoE on the... Okay, so yeah, they're now in trouble. They're in serious trouble. Yeah, that Apotheosis is not going to die to Lemia. So, Let's see how we'll all run deal with Apotheosis. Not quite enough to kill him. Yeah, now all run will have to deal with uh, Patricia sniping them from the back. Oh yeah, Zenshin. Whoops, my bad. Uh, Zenshin. I, I, I don't know, for some reason I mistaken both those names. For a reason. Oh yeah, it, it was supposed to be Zenshin, not Zgram, I'm sorry. I don't know, something in my, in my head is saying that it was Zgram, but it was not. It was Zenshin. Oh wait, the last match was a sweep? I mean the, the sweep that they got through was uh was like two to zero? Oh man, that that must have been pretty bad. Oh man, that was going easy. Well it's turning her into a demon. Jeez Louise. And now that is uh, it's is a demon, and not just that, she is heal reverse, which is her. Pretty nasty. <laughs> Almost killing him, oh dear. Yeah, Patricia had to do some damage right now, otherwise, he's gonna, he's gonna lose, miss the window. For opportunities. Yeah, since Apotheos is already here with uh with Patricia's buff, she can basically attack any of these guys except Liana. Like from where she is. Like I'm not even kidding. She can snipe people. Just like how Sagani works with the owl. Let's hope Jane doesn't use uh use Patricia to kill at least one of them. Oh, 
just gonna do AOE at where uh, Apotheos is standing. And it killed off Ishin as a result. Kiana tries to heal her allies as much as possible. And uh, the other debuffs that they have on, on Lemia remain because the ones that got debuffed is Patricia's uh, soul burning uh, debuff. Because those ones are, met, are designed to dispel first before dispelling others' debuffs. Which is explained over here. Is this a. Uh... Okay, come on, let me read. There it goes. So yeah, anyway, the, the debuff will be out from the unit. The soul burning plague will be prioritized first. Okay, and Apotheos is, is down. And now this. This Polly just got. Just got some. Burns on herself. Okay, waiting in the water. This is Soda just chilling back here, waiting for the perfect opportunity to attack. And she will get her other will. Unlocked a uh, Western Machine Axe. Okay. Activating that to heal and, and also reduce damage taken. Activated the solitary journey. Now her attack ignore guard. Okay, I think all those burns are gone after moving, yeah. And I didn't realize Jane is actually running low on time right now. He had to move, plan his moves care, uh, quick, more quickly than than usual. And he just moved Soda up close. Hmm. Okay. Let's see how far can this AO go. She can she can move pretty far, I think, but I don't know. Okay, dimensional shift, which would not swap because Hilda is immune to that. Spellbound on the two units, uh, Polly and uh, Lemia, and she can probably black hole them right here. Yep, yeah, about right there. Damage and Lemia got silenced. Oh dear, that's huge. Overlord's ambition. Oh, and she got un unsilenced by Bernhard's uh, gospel effect that was applied with with Le by Liana. The air we comes in, hitting uh, Pauly and Bernhardt, T taking away Pauly's uh, first revive, first and only revive. Okay, Pauly is just not going to like this at all. That's good, but they did not pull because immune, immune to uh, displacement. Oh my goodness, Jane Nelson! You're a monster. You just beat our run just like that. This, anyways, Jane Nelson is going to be advancing to the finals.
Okay, so we got we got the finalists right here. So we got Wayne Wren going to be battling against Jane Nelson tomorrow. And this will decide the next champion. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm not big I'm actually somewhat surprised that All Run did lose here. Yuji we wherever we see All Run he he's almost guaranteed to win almost every single matchup he who he's fighting against, but it doesn't seem like it happened this time. So anyways, ho hopefully for the best with the two finalists tomorrow. And I'm going to sign out of the stream for for time being. Hopefully we can get a stream running tomorrow for the finalists. Until then, 